Rey Skywalker's series of Force visions in Star Wars, The Force Awakens following her contact with Anakin Skywalker's iconic lightsaber led to a number of thrilling Star Wars sequel trilogy theories, but, sadly, several of these brilliant theories never came to be. The Star Wars sequel trilogy represented a world of opportunities for Star Wars movies and TV shows, as it was a brand new era of the Star Wars timeline. In fact, as Disney's acquisition of Star Wars made most stories set after Return of the Jedi no longer canon, the story possibilities seemed limitless. In part because of that, theories ran absolutely rampant throughout the releases of the sequel trilogy's movies. However, the moment Rey touched Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber and experienced a series of Force visions specifically initiated a number of Star Wars theories, many of them particularly exciting. Sadly, though, very few of those theories came to be. Rey was the reincarnation of Anakin Skywalker. Many believed that Anakin's lightsaber gave Rey visions because she was Anakin. One of the most bizarre theories to come from Rey's Force visions in The Force Awakens was that she was actually the reincarnation of Anakin Skywalker. This theory began because Anakin's lightsaber had such an intense effect on Rey, something that it hadn't even done with Luke Skywalker. Ultimately, though, it was instead revealed that this was one of Star Wars Force powers, Forcebacks, seemingly a form of psychometry. It would have been an interesting but odd turn for Star Wars to actually reincarnate Anakin in this way, although it didn't seem out of the question. After all, Star Wars is constantly adding brand new powers, concepts, and storylines that seem to break the rules. Nevertheless, it's probably for the best that this theory never came to be, as making Rey the reincarnation of Anakin would have made things very complicated, to say the least. Rey and Kylo Ren were siblings. Before Rey's parents were revealed, some believed she was an abandoned solo daughter. The identity of Rey's parents was a massive mystery throughout the sequel trilogy, even after it seemed Star Wars, The Last Jedi had revealed that they were nobody. In The Force Awakens especially, theories ran wild regarding Rey's parentage, as her visions suggested she had a connection to the Skywalkers. A few theories about who Rey's parents could be stood out in particular, one of them being that Rey was the abandoned daughter of Han Solo and Leia Organa. This was a particularly fascinating theory because it would no doubt have required a significant event for Leia and Han to leave their own daughter behind on Jakku. However, given how strained their relationship had clearly become, this seemed more than possible. Moreover, this would have meant Ben Solo and Rey were siblings, which could have led to yet another awkward Star Wars sibling kiss. Ultimately, though, Star Wars avoided repeating history in this way. Rey had trained at Luke's temple, but had her memory wiped. Rey seemed particularly skilled with the Force, leading to this theory. Although Rey initially didn't know she had the Force, she was remarkably skilled with it. In addition to impressively using the classic Jedi mind trick on a stormtrooper in The Force Awakens, presumably without even knowing that was a Force power, Rey soon after battled Kylo Ren single-handedly and held her own. In fact, she even managed to pull Anakin's lightsaber away from him. Because of that skill, and even seeming familiarity with certain Force abilities, some suspected that Rey may have actually had some training as a Jedi but didn't remember it. This theory was reinforced by the moment Luke Skywalker was shown in Rey's visions, watching his temple burn. Essentially, this theory posited that Rey had been a student in Luke's temple for a time but that she eventually had her memory wiped. This would have had fascinating implications, including that, possibly, Luke rescued her and hoped this one survivor could be the new hope for the Jedi Luke Skywalker joined the dark side. Many believed that it could be Luke under the Kylo Ren mask. Rey's force visions also brought her face to face with the terrifying Kylo Ren, whose actual face had yet to be revealed. Although Kylo Ren's identity as Ben Solo was uncovered later in The Force Awakens, at that point, his true identity was still unknown. Because of that, many actually theorized that it was Luke Skywalker underneath Kylo Ren's mask. This would have had interesting, and no doubt controversial, implications for the sequel trilogy, as it would have meant that Luke Skywalker had fallen to the dark side. However, given Rey's Force visions had also shown Luke watching his Jedi Temple burn, this would have explained what tragedy was linked to Luke's downfall. Moreover, George Lucas had even considered this very turn for Luke in Return of the Jedi, which would have made good on an intriguing original trilogy concept.